What's up guys? Welcome back to Film Addiction. Um, today I figured I'd show off the movies that I recently have picked up so far here in August. Um, I will do another video in a couple weeks or at the end of the month showing what I got for the entire month. But I figured while I was sitting here, I would go ahead and show off what I've got. I've uh, got some pretty good stuff. got some still books, some uh, box sets, um, Bringer Syndrome and some Blu-rays and some DVDs. So we'll go ahead and dive into them. I'd like to hear what you guys think about them and we'll go ahead and get, jump right on into it. First off is a still book that my wife got me while I was out and it's beautiful and I love it. <laughs> First off is Tomb Raider uh, with uh, Angelina Jolie. Great movie. Um, now I've seen the second one uh, still book. I have not seen this actually in quite a bit. I need to revisit it, but I enjoyed it. I thought the first and second one were great. I enjoyed the first the remake as well. It's more based off of the video games, but it was fun. But yeah, Lower Croft Tomb Raider Steel Book. Next up is a brand new Steel Book that just came out, and this thing is nice. And wife also picked this one up. That is the Big Lebowski. Um. Beautiful still book. That's the front. That's the back. And if you've never seen this movie, I highly recommend it. Um, the dude. And all he wants is his rug back. Or his rug replaced. But great movie. If you've never seen it, definitely check it out. Awesome looking still book. So that's it for still books so far. Next up is a Vinegar Syndrome title. So real quick, I'm going to, even though I got the movie, I'm happy I got the movie, I'm going to complain just a little bit because the next one's also a Vinegar Syndrome. So I started to get these uh, VSUs. So I wanted to start off and I got the very first one. And this is the Beastmaster and this looks great. Slip cover is very nice, different artwork, uh, some boss in certain places. That's the front and the back. I've obviously never seen this, but I ordered this from Vinegar Syndrome. And um, this took like two months to get here, as well as, which is fine, whatever, it showed up. And it, this was supposed to be the box set. Um, if someone can explain to me why I didn't get the box set, but in the picture and the description and everything, it was the box set. Um, not just the slipcover edition. Um, so I was a little confused by that. And just a little slightly disappointed that I didn't get the box set, but that's fine. But that's the front. That's the back. And then we'll take the slipcover off. And that's the front of the 4K disc. And that's the back. And I'll pop this bad boy open. Catch some disc artwork. Right there, boom, boom, boom. The case uh, did come broke, so I'll have to get another 4K case at some point. But besides that, the disc and the slip cover was perfectly fine. But yeah, so Beastmaster, I've never seen that. So if y'all have, let me know down below. Um, it looks like a fun time. I like movies like this, so should be interesting. But then I ordered from Diabolic DVD, I believe. And I ordered a box set, VSU, um, number six, because it's been going around and I finally just decided I'm gonna get this, I wanna see it, I wanna hear it, I wanna give my own opinion. And it's Showgirls. And it showed the box set and I got the box set. And I also got this for like a week and a half, two weeks, tops. So, order from a different site and I got what I wanted and it came twice as fast, but. Either way, I got the movie. So this is a really nice addition. I've never seen this. Um, how does it open again? I'm trying to remember how it opens, but that's the front and that's the back, Hot Girls. My wife was like, really, you picked that up? I'm trying to remember how this opens. Wow. Okay, so it opens up like that. And then that's the inside, boom, boom, boom. Take this out. There's your movie. 
And there's extra disc. I think I heard something about some replacement disc. So I guess that's what that is. I haven't actually opened the movie yet. And then you get the booklet. That's the front of the booklet, the back. And it's got some pages. So that's pretty cool. The box is like really, really nice. Like the colors really pop. I think it looks better in person than it does in videos. So that's the front of the uh, slip cover. That's the back of the slip cover. And then you slide that down. And then there's the movie. I guess we can go ahead and open this. I'm sure you've all seen this, but. Hopefully I won't take up too much of your time. Dun, 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 dun. So have you seen Showgirls? I did uh, watch Mid-Level Media's uh, review, so that kind of interested me a little bit more. Go out on the trash, how about that? So there's the front of the case, there's the back of the case, and then you open it up, which I have not done yet. And there's, so I guess those are all the replacement discs in the box. That's the first disc, second and third. So a really nice addition. I'm uh, looking forward to checking this out and I plan on getting the other VSUs when I get the chance. Um, hopefully I can find them on a deal, but if not, I'll just order one at a time like I have been. If, only, if it takes two months, then it'll be a while to get all of them, but I'll get them. So Showgirls, if you've seen that, let me know what you think down below. Next up, we watched this last night, uh, We're the Millers. I completely got this confused with uh, the new Vacation remake movie, so I'm going to have to rewatch that because I thought that's what it was at first. The wife ordered this from Groove, um, and I have some other ones in here as well that she ordered. So she absolutely loves this movie, and uh, I do too. It's absolutely hilarious, and Jennifer Aniston in this movie is something else. So if you haven't seen Where the Millers, definitely check it out. Next up, funny story about this movie. We ordered, or the wife ordered this movie, and it showed up in a Amazon Prime um, plastic, you know, white basic thing, and it was open, and the movie was not inside. So, first time this ever happened. I don't know if this ever happened to you. If it has, let me know, because that was freaky. She, like, checked the yard to make sure it didn't fall out while they are walking up to the house. Nowhere to be found. So she told Amazon they gave her money back. I think two days later. I could be mistaken, but I believe it was two days later. Another package came in a brown box from Amazon with two labels on it. And the movie showed up. The East of Eden. Uh, we, she went with the uh, Digibook because it was like $10 cheaper. And we wanted to see it. So... I love Digibooks. I think they're awesome. So there's the front. There's the back. I'm uh, looking forward to watching this. Uh, James Dean, one of his films. We're trying to get all of his movies after watching Rebel Without a Cause. Because um, that was our first one that we had ever seen with him in it. So very nice addition. If you've ever seen that, let me know. And then I picked up the first and second one. Because they've been popping up around everywhere. And I finally decided look on Amazon they were on sale so I got coming to America with Eddie Murphy uh never seen this so it'll be a first time watch so we got the first one and then the second one which is just came out recently I believe uh 2020 so Eddie Murphy I guess everyone's back I'm not sure this slip cover is like extremely tight because there's a sticker on the back that's why yeah, we're not going to do that right now. So I feel like I'm going to rip the over. But yeah, coming to America 2. So, cool beans. Next up, got another Criterion. I ordered this during the sale. And it finally showed up. This was recommended by uh, Movies with Ryan. This is Clouds of Sils Maria or something. I'm probably saying that all wrong. But it has... Uh, Kristen Stewart in there, and I actually do enjoy movies with Kristen Stewart in it. So 
he recommended this, said it was really good, so I ordered this. Definitely looking forward to checking that out. I uh, ordered, because the Arrow video thing started. All right, so I got cut off there for a second, but I ordered uh, Weird Science, because the uh, Arrow video show that's going on. And yeah, I already have this, but I wanted it because the slipcover was shown in the picture, and I think it's slipcover. So now I have two cops for this. Next up, this is the stuff that my wife ordered from the Groove site, and that is Roadhouse. I have not seen this movie in years, but I know it's a classic. Um, looking forward to revisiting this one. Booyah. Next up is Sneakers. Never seen this. Um, think I've heard of it, but she really wanted to see this. So just for that alone, I'm looking forward to checking it out with her. Next up is Misfits with Marilyn Monroe and Clark Gable. Never heard of this one either. So definitely looking forward to checking that out. Let me some Marilyn Monroe. Next up, I have seen this, but it's been a very long time. And that was Coal Miner's Daughter. I think I remember enjoying this one. But she ordered this one from Groove as well. These were all like $5 a piece, I believe. So looking forward to revisiting that one. And then Erin Brockovich, um, another one she picked up. She's got a whole video of her unboxing these on her channel. Next up is Idiocracy. I got this at uh, Ingalls. I walked into an Ingalls and they were selling movies like they used to back in the day. I used to buy a bunch of movies from them. But they had a bunch of DVDs, so I picked up a few. First up is Idiocracy. It's a hilarious movie. It's like it goes into the future if i believe and it just shows how um stupid america has become and it's actually hilarious maybe if you've never seen it next up is the original dune i did not own this in the collection and i've only seen bits and pieces of it on tv so i'm looking forward to checking that out i've heard very mixed reviews so let me know what you think down below about that this was what got me started buying the DVDs there when I was looking. I saw this one, George of the Jungle. I absolutely love this movie. Um, if I would remember this in my like Rad 9, because I watched this as like a million times as a kid. Um, funny, hilarious movie, Brendan Fraser. You just cannot go wrong with George of the Jungle. Fantastic movie. Uh, next up is Tom Hanks' collection with The Money Pit, The Burbs, and Dragnet. Dragnet? Um, I'm going to go ahead and say right now, I've never seen any of these. I know Mel's uh, movie is The Burbs from her podcast. Uh, never seen it. I've heard of good things about The Money Pit, too. So, looking forward to watching these. And last but not least, I got... A Schwarzenegger collection, because I've been, well, it's not Schwarzenegger collection, sorry, it's two movie collection. First one has Schwarzenegger with The Last Action Hero, have not seen that movie since I was a kid. And then Cliffhanger, I know there's a still book out for this, um, but I'm not paying thirty dollars for it, for one, and for two, I've never seen Cliffhanger. So this is my chance to watch it. I plan on watching that, uh, hopefully this weekend. So, yeah. So this I'll pick up so far this month. Not a bad little haul. We'll show that money shot that Adam's always talking about. So that's so far this uh, month. So if you've seen any of these, uh, let me know what you think down below and which one's your favorites and which ones I should watch first. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.